Hi there, Chris from Loyola Kingston. Uh, Google Docs I love, except the spelling grammar naturally isn't great. There's two things that we're gonna do. First, we're gonna go to tools, spelling, and we're gonna say underline any errors. So it's picking up a couple errors for me, that's good. Um, but the, and then if I right click, I can make the changes to what it thinks it should be. They're not always right, but they give you some suggestions. My second one though, is I like Grammarly. And Grammarly, I forced everyone at Loyal Learning to have but in order for it to integrate with Google Docs, we need to force it into beta mode. And we're just gonna sign in by doing that. So we're gonna click on Grammarly. We're gonna sign up, it's free. And we're gonna use the Google account we already have. So I'm just gonna say continue with Google. Sometimes it'll ask you further up, continue with Google. Because I'm logged into my uh, Google Chrome uh, web browser with this uh, account, it's gonna naturally pick up my username and password so I don't have to worry about it. Usually it's gonna ask what kind of writing you do like I'm doing it for school and I've got sort of intermediate writing skills and I'm going to continue and I'm just staying with free don't pay anything please unless you really want to it says if you want you can add Grammarly to Windows don't worry about it uh, and so we've got Grammarly going now but when I go back to this one beta is going to show up and it says it has access to the site and we just have to be a little patient to get it going here we make sure that it has it's turned on saying yes Google Docs is allowed to use that. And it's gonna, I just refreshed the page and all of a sudden it popped up here and said, do you really wanna do this? Do you wanna turn on beta? I'm like, yep, yeah, I do. And then it's gonna identify errors again for me. And you can take a tour if you want to, I'm not going to. It actually picked up, you'll notice a third spelling mistake here where they think built in should be a hyphen. So the red underlines are now solid instead of squiggles and it's gonna show up in the Grammarly stuff there. So I think it should be doesn't. This is, should be a spell check and built in, they believe it should be a hyphen. You can ignore them if you want to, but if you get all that red on your page, you can clean things up before you submit your assignments.